On this table, I have a bunch of parts. Not all of them are brand new, but most of them are. I'll start off with brand new pistons. These are the original size pistons, and to go back to original, you guys will have to install dry sleeves, but I'll talk about that later on in this video. On the top, we also have our piston bowl, and that's very important for our diesel injector. Down below, we also have three brand new wrist pins that came in the kit, and three piston rings for each piston. Off to the left, I have three brand new connecting rod bearings. These will be installed on the connecting rod in this area. And we also have three wrist pin bushings. These will be installed on the top of the connecting rod. We also have thrust bearings. These are brand new and I'll talk about those later. Uh, right here, I have a crankshaft. This is not new, uh, this is still to size. And this is the original crankshaft. As well as three connecting rods. These are the original ones. As I mentioned, I'll be replacing the bushings and the bearings. On the right of the table, I have four main bearings. Um, four of them are just plain bearings. And on the bottom, which is on the block side, we also have two bores inside of them to distribute oil throughout the engine. Now, further on, we have three exhausts and three intake valves. Um, these are brand new and they have already been at the machine shop, so those correspond with that head right there. Um, the head was also sent out already, and we also have some new parts in that cylinder head, so I'll talk about that later on. Over here, we have some brand new gaskets, we have two crankshaft seals, we have valve seals, and we also have some O-rings, as well as our valve cover gasket. Um, down below, we have the head gasket, we have an exhaust gasket, we have the oil pump gasket, and we also have the exhaust manifold and the intake gasket. 